Et non, c'est mes fonds. You know, c'est mes habits. welcome back to my channel so i went to dollarama and i picked up some drinks so there are mocktails made to be spiked and if you're like me and you're used to having one or two cocktails when outside was a thing you actually miss that so i saw these for two dollar fifty and yeah i had to have them i chose the strawberry daiquiri the blue raspberry martini and there was also a citrus mai tai now today i have in front of me these three pertinent ingredients as well as equipment to make them in i don't have a shaker so i'm gonna use my herbal life cup it comes with this little compartment and a cover and I guess that's as close as I'll get to a shaker. I have my cup measurements. They do have the milliliter options on them and they're not accurate to what's required, but I'm gonna do as best as I can. I also bought rum and vodka. I have with me coconut rum. I have Bacardi rum and I have Smirnoff triple distilled vodka. Over here I have ice and I tried to make the clear ice, but guys, that was like 24 hours and an igloo that I didn't have. So this is what we have right now. And on my cutting board, I have things that I'm gonna garnish with. I have my raspberry, my strawberry, lime, and fresh mint. So for the strawberry daiquiri, the instructions say, Put it in a blender, blend for 10 seconds or until smooth. Now, my blender literally has three options on it. So I hope I get that slushy feel that we know and love. But before this, I thought about doing the virgin option, but we're just gonna jump right in. If we waste the rum, I saw. It smell like pure syrup so 120 milliliters is half cup so let's do that so 120 milliliters is half cup Then, as for instructions, 37 milliliters of rum. Now, the smallest option I have is 60. So, I guess we'll go a little bit less than a half, I think. And for the strawberry daiquiri, I'm going to use the Bacardi. All right. It's a... 30, right? So, it's a bit more than home. Treat water. Well, we will know if I sleep well tonight if it was on. And then, one eight. Um, one and a half cups of ice. And then we blend. Ooh, it's 
that's one down. Um, it's a melt, but we're gonna test it. The fresh. Um, you never drink one that it is so that too fresh, but it's refreshing. So I guess I will move it to the side. The next one we're moving on to is the blue raspberry martini. Now this one says in a shaker, combine forty milliliters. The highest one I have is 80, so we're gonna run it over a little bit. Not 40, 90. The highest one I have is 80, which is one third cup. Um, quarter cup is six. All right, we're gonna use 80. Anyways, in a shaker, makeshift shaker, combine 90 milliliters of blue raspberry mix, which is this bad boy right here. And then 90, so we have about 80. And then I'll run it over a little bit. And then, all right. So it's nice. And then, then 30 milliliters of vodka. So for this one, we're using the Smirnoff triple distilled. 30, that means half of the quarter. And my measurements could be wrong, but we're going as close to as possible. Oh, Kurt. And then one cup of ice. Okay. One cup of ice. One cup ice. And then Assemble my shaker. into a martini glass. We ain't got none of that, so we're gonna opt for this, and then. It's a bit strained the ice. But the ice will come through the part here, so. We're gonna do this way. This is why I don't want a martini glass because this kind of too look a bit for my tall glass. But it does have ice in the depiction, so I'm gonna add one of my very cloudy ice to it, and it says to garnish with raspberry as desired. So just sink a little bit. And there you have it, folks. <laughs> a blue martini excitement. 
This one tastes better. This one. These are what you call creeper drinks. That one here better. Or the sweetness in that one here. Turn up. Um, so yeah, that's the first two. The last one is, says, in a cocktail glass, I don't know the measurement, but I already have it. Try with 120 and then top it off a little bit. You know, semi full full. You know, semi is a big idiot. No wonder there's something fresh, man. I saw that shit. At least. <laughs> All right. I never shake them. I never shake them. But it not say shit well. Yeah, you got one, two, chip. Establish the 120. This one smells nice. Alright, so we use 120. And then drop a little bit more. The 130. The positive. This smell is another one here. I'm going with itself. Alright. 40 milliliter rum. And also we have to use the 60 and cut it down a little bit. And for this one, I'm using the Malibu Caribbean rum with coconut flavored liquor. So I don't know say if they will turn up, I think. say stir and garnish with cherry and lime wedge but because of the little citrus excitement going on I'm going to use the fresh lime fresh mint leaves and drop one of my very thinly sliced lime or two two in there and then never stir all right that's going here too big the one you know is This one is nice. Ma, she had drink my time. Right now we are deep big, well big, how daily past 20. 20 little bit, we are drink my time, my time, and I live a whole different life. Ooh, that one there nice. Now I wonder if we did shape this before, if it would have come out taste better. But now I'm going to attempt that tonight because I start my new job in the morning and we're not trying to get white girl wasted. So, woo. thank you guys for tuning in. You can try these. I got these at my local Dollarama. I'm not sure they're available at all of them. This was the one at 
Long Branch and Lakeshore. But yeah, good stuff, $2. These I got at LCBO, $8 something per. And they weren't on the aisle shelves, they were at the checkout counter. So make sure you check that out. There is also a little local grocer down right by Shoppers that I got my fresh fruits from and my fresh mint leaves. So definitely check those out and um, yeah. Okay guys, thank you for watching. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, and share. Let me know if you like this kind of content and I will see you again next time. Peace.